Hi, I'm Garrett Atkins with Weld Revolution. Today I'm going to show you how we're putting a new spin on welding. I'm going to be showing you our MA400 torch. First, let's open the box and see what you get. With this package, you get an operational manual, a control cable, a trigger cable, the control box and mounting hardware, and the cable assembly and welding torch itself. Before I actually get into installing this new torch, I wanted to lay it out on a table for you so you can see how all the pieces go together. You can see the torch here with the main torch body, the cable, and the end that plugs into your feeder. The control cable, trigger cable, and the control box itself. This control box I've mounted to an optional magnetic mounting system. Now to get started with the control cable, it's going to go between your feeder mount and the control box. And this is all that's really needed for if you want to do manual operation of the torch. So once that's connected, I would turn on the power and it displays the set RPM and I'm able to adjust this up and down. So I'm going to set it at 2000 RPM at this point. You have a couple other knobs on here. The spin, which turns the spin on or off, and direction. So earlier I said you can operate this in a manual mode. If that's the case, then you just turn it on. There's a motor in here that's starting to activate and turn, and it's come up to speed. Looking at the torch, I'll show you the heart of the system, and so you can see the spinning. Inside, we have an eccentric cam with a variety of settings, one through eight, with one being the smallest spin diameter, and eight being the largest spin diameter. I also have the ability to change the direction of the spin with this button here. Now one of the main things you'll need to bring is contact tips for the wire size that you'll be using. In this case I'm going to be using an 045 wire. I'm going to use a crescent wrench and some welder help tools to tighten that up. The nozzle itself, this whole assembly slides back on and I'm ready to take this and install it on the system. The control cable that comes with your kit already comes pre-labeled and I'll show you one end goes into the control box There's another end that will go into the trigger on the wire feeder. And then there's an end that still needs to, will be, need to be terminated that comes from the trigger from your welding bug. Today we're going to be putting this on a Bugo track welding system and a Miller Pipeworks welder. The torch and cable already come with a Miller power pin and it's already loaded with the liner. And as I said before, you only need to add the contact tip for the wire. So I've already added an 045 contact tip. This plugs straight into the wire feeder. I've already loaded some Hobart metal core wire. It's an 86, called 86R. So I have this secured to the power pin. Now I add the control cable. This control cable is what controls the RPM of the motor. And you'll see the other end already plugged into this box. So now we pick up the torch. There's a short section in here where we can clamp to any common clamping system for welding. 
and it'll just slide right in. Tighten it down. Okay, and now I just want to check my settings. So for spin, I'm going to be welding a groove and I need to have it on spin setting 3. So that's done. Caps up and locked. On the box, we want 3000 RPM. And you'll see that it has sped up to 3000 RPM. In this case, I also want clockwise. So I'm going to turn it to clockwise. Now I'll secure everything and we'll get ready to weld. All right, now we're ready to weld. What I have set up is a one inch thick plate with a three eighths inch groove. There's been no bevel prep. We'll be welding onto a steel backing plate. So we'll be filling up a three inch wide groove all the way from root to cap. I've made sure that my settings on my torch are correct. We're gonna be running a number three for the spin diameter and 3000 RPM. For the wire feed speed, we're gonna be running a 525 inches a minute and 30 volts. On the travel speed, it'll be 17 and a half. So everything's ready. We're gonna make a weld.